Hey there, I'm Tyler from Less Annoying Business, which is a website that helps small businesses uh, understand technology. Uh, this is kind of the middle of a course I'm doing on how to get a small business website set up from scratch, uh, where we start with coming up with colors, logos, all that stuff. Um, and now we're actually getting onto the point where we make the real website. So if you haven't done the rest of the, the course and you want to, there's a link in the description below. Um, but okay, today what we're going to do is use Squarespace. Squarespace, uh, of the options I give in the course, Squarespace is kind of the intermediate level one where it's not the, the simplest one. I have a different video for doing this with Card, which is the absolute easiest option. Squarespace is kind of the next level up where it's still very easy to use, but you have a lot more control over making different pages. You can make a blog. You can do a lot of stuff with Squarespace. So without further ado, let's dive in here. Um, I'm on the Squarespace website here. Uh, before we actually make the site, I just want to make sure, you know, you never want to start using a product without understanding the pricing. So at the time I'm recording this video, you can see prices range from $12 a month to $40 a month. I think almost every typical small business could get away with either the $12 or the $18 version. Um, you get pretty much all the features you need with those. Do keep in mind, though, this is the, uh, they do that trick where they show it to you. They're saying it's per month, but it's actually uh, times 12. If you want the true monthly cost, you need to switch, and it's actually 26 for the business or 16 for the, the personal. Um, okay, so that, that's still not a huge price to pay, but just keep that in mind. Um, okay, so we're on the Squarespace website site. I already have an account created. If you don't, it's just a you know email password, pretty straightforward sign up. Um, what we're going to do is click Get Started. Now, Squarespace is one of these website builders where they have a bunch of templates that you can choose from, and then you customize them. So rather than having to like hire a designer or something like that, you just scroll through here and pick one that looks good. Now, we're going to be able to customize it. You can change the colors and the images and stuff like that. But the more you customize it, the less it's going to look like the professionally designed website. So I would recommend picking one that you don't think you're going to need to change a whole lot of, and that way it'll look more professional. Um, I'm just going to pick the first one they've got here. You just mouse over whichever one you want and say start. Okay, so this is going to kind of get this set up while it's going. I just want to explain this video is going to focus on the very, very simplest type of website. I'm really going to focus on the home page specifically, and then I'm going to show you how you can make other pages, but uh, it'll kind of be up to you if you want to explore and do some more advanced stuff. Okay, the first thing it does, it says, uh, give me the site title. I'm going to make this for my uh, website where I host all this content, Less Annoying Business. And then there's a tutorial here, which I'm going to skip because I already know how it works. Great. So let me close that. Here is the website editor. And there's two sections. There's this left sidebar, which is how we kind of get around between the different options. And then there's a preview of the website here so you can really see what it's going to look like. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on here on the left. We're not going to do most of this. But I do want to point out just the basic stuff that you might want to be familiar with. First one is pages. So when you look at this website, you can see there's kind of this navigation up here, and we've got about, news, readme. Again, this is just a template. This is a starting point that we can customize. Where do these things come from? Well, all of these pages automatically get populated to the navigation bar up here. So you can see about what we do, projects, about what we do, projects. So basically, if you want to make more pages or remove pages from the website, you do that from here. OK, the next one is design. Now, again, I'm going to recommend that you don't change too much about the design because the, someone who's a professional designer already made this look good. So let's uh, lean on them a little bit. The main thing I am going to play around with here is I'm going to change the colors because I do think it's important to have a consistent color scheme. In one of the earlier uh, emails from this course, we already talked about how to come up with your color scheme. So again, if, if you don't know the course, there will be a link below, and you can join it if you'd like to. Um, but it basically has this color palette. Uh, I honestly find this a little confusing, so let me walk you through how this works. You're going to click Edit here, and then it kind of gives you, there's white, black, accent, light, and dark. Um, so you can set what all these colors are. And uh, if you remember from the color course that we did, uh, you kind of have whatever colors you picked, you have like light and dark versions of them. So I'm going to come in. I have like this really, really light green. So they're saying white. It's not technically white, but it's it's just off-white. Um, and I'm going to enter that as a hex color code. So you put the pound sign and then the color code. Um, and then, oops, 
uh, you can kind of see it's basically white, but it's just a little bit darker. Um, and you know, you can you can play around with this as you see fit. But I'm going to uh, just enter some sample colors so you can kind of see how this would work. Uh, I'm going to make my accent color kind of a bold green color, and this is going to be the main one that I'm going to use here is um, oops, this green. There we go. So great. What you can see is that the buttons just turned into my main green color here, which gives gives my brand a little bit of focus on the website. OK, great. So um, that's the colors. That's all we're going to do with this left sidebar for now. Um, so again, you can create pages. You can modify the design a little. Let's get in and actually make the web page look good. So I'm really going to focus here on the home page, which is what we see by default here. Let's start with the header. So when I edit the site header, this is going to edit the header on every page. You don't have to customize it every single page. I'm going to click Edit Site Header. One thing I want to do, uh, again, in an earlier part of this course, we came up with a logo for the business. Uh, so you can just, like, it looks OK to just have your name text up here. But I think it would look even better to, oops, let me go back to where I was, to click here, Site Title and Logo. And I just want to upload kind of a better version of the logo. And I've got this one right here. Um, this is one that I had a designer from Fiverr make for me for $40. So if you need a logo, it can be really cheap to have a custom designer or even free uh, if you go back and read that uh, part of the course. OK, so I've got a logo. And then you know you don't necessarily need to change anything else here. But uh, if you wanted, we've kind of got this button up here, Take Action, if you wanted to customize that. Or you could just remove it entirely. And, and get rid of it if you'd like to. OK, so that's the header. Now let's move on to kind of the main content. So uh, if you recall what we did earlier in this course, I, I kind of said there's four things you want to get figured out before you start building this. One is your logo. One is your color scheme. Uh, one is your call to action, which is the thing that a visitor is, is supposed to do from your website. And then the final one is just basic info, like what do you want your customer to see? So if you've already got that figured out, it'll make it a little bit faster here. Um, you can just kind of come in and enter that info. So I'm going to say my website is less annoying business. And I don't actually have like a tagline, but let's say it's uh, running a small business. It doesn't have to be a nightmare. So you can put whatever you want here. And it, it's a really easy editor. It's basically like using Word or Google Docs. You just you know click and make it type whatever you want. And then you can, uh, like, I want this to be big and this to be small. So you can go ahead and do that. I'm going to highlight this and say, I'll make that the header one. And then I'm going to highlight this and make that the uh, header four. OK, so now we've got things are in proportion a little bit better. And depending on what template you pick, you know, there's just a lot of stuff on the page uh, that they're going to start you out with. And then you can come in here and either customize it or delete it. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back to this right here. This is the call to action. I'm going to talk about that later. But let's just talk about how can you modify what's on the page. So first of all, if you want to edit something that is already here, you just mouse over it. You can see it kind of gets outlined. And when I click on it, I can either edit it or delete it. So if I'm like, I don't want this at all, I'll just delete it. Boom, it's gone. And then we, have the, we still have the section that it was in. I can delete that as well. Um, if you want to edit it, you just come in here and edit it. Um, and then if you want to add something, you can add something within a section by clicking on these little plus icons. So like, let's say below this button here, I wanted, uh, I don't know, I could embed a video or put some more text or something like that. Um, and then I'll center it. So you can kind of just, it's pretty straightforward how to add and edit stuff. And then you can also add entirely new sections. So I can add a section here and it's going to kind of let me pick what I want. You can see, um, sorry. You can see over here, like I could do various quotes, or I could put a form in here, or I could embed a video. So they really have pretty much all the options you might want. Um, and you can just kind of add that as a new section. OK, so we've got our logo. We've got our colors. We've got our basic info, uh, which you'll, you'll put down here. You'll just kind of enter whatever you think the info that your website needs on the home page is. The final thing here is the call to action. And if you're doing my course, you know this is, to me, the most important thing. Like, why do you have a web page? It's to accomplish some goal. Like a visitor comes to your website, you want them to do something. And that's this call to action. It could be a button. Uh, this button is just going to link somewhere else. It could link to a different page on your site, like a contact form. It could link somewhere else. So for example, if you sell products on 
Amazon, you could link them directly to that product or something like that. Uh, so using a button or a link to just get them somewhere else, that's one option for a call to action. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete this though and show you uh, a couple others. I, every website's different, so I'm not going to get into the specifics of how this works. Uh, but basically, if you scroll down here, you can see under the more section, you could do a form, a newsletter sign up. Um, if you're like a physical location, you might be like, here's the map so you can get somewhere. You could have them schedule an appointment with you. So like if you're a financial advisor, say, maybe the first part of your sales process is a kind of introductory meeting, you could have them schedule that. In my case, because I make a website that's based around a newsletter, my call to action is going to be a newsletter here. Um, and again, I'm not going to uh, kind of go into all the details. Uh, sorry, this isn't, uh, this isn't moving well, whatever. There we go. Um, but basically, I've got this. It, it automatically adds this. I can um, click this edit link to, uh, you know, I can say uh, sign up for weekly updates. You know, you can kind of, or sorry, that's the form name. What I should do is put that in the title. Um, so it says that there. What's the description? I'll email you once per week. Um, and, you know, you can kind of just make it behave however you want, put name fields in there, whatever. Um, you can also embed forms from other tools. So, for example, if you're using MailChimp or ConvertKit to host your email newsletter, you could put their form in here instead. So I'm not going to go into all of that because, again, everybody's call to action is going to be different. But the point is, put some thought into what do you want your website to accomplish and then put that right there. Okay, so this is the homepage. We've got it pretty much working. We've got navigation that we're happy with. We've got our colors set up. Um, you, you've come in and hopefully updated the uh, the info down here. So what's left? Um, the, the next thing is let's click done here and save. That's how we're going to pull back up this left sidebar here. Once you have this back up, I would suggest going back to pages and thinking, well, what are all the pages we're going to want on the site? They kind of give you these boilerplate ones by default. Uh, I don't think most small business websites need a ton of pages. So I would recommend deleting some of these. But if you so if you want to delete one, you can just click this little uh, gear icon and then come down here and delete the page. And it will just immediately, you know, now that doesn't show up when you mouse over about. If you want to add a page, you can either add it under a folder by clicking here, or you can add a new top level page. Um, so for example, let's say, you know, I have courses. That's, that's what I do on my website. That's what you're watching right now is one of my courses. Um, so I could make a page for courses, and now uh, it's in the navigation. Now, I still need to fill out the page itself, right? So uh, again, to do that, we would just come in, we would add a section, pick whatever you want, and boom, now I've got a nice courses page that I can edit. Um, so basically, again, every site's going to be different. You need to decide for yourself what pages you want, but it's a piece of cake. You come in, you add the pages, you can nest them under folders to make them little drop downs like this, and you can just make the site however you want. I would recommend start really simple. Maybe all you need right now is a home page, or maybe just one or two pages. Um, you can get this site published and always add more to it later. Okay, so finally, how do we actually get this website live? Like it looks nice here, but I'm the only one who can see it. Uh, to do that, you're going to go to settings. And under site availability, if I click on that, you can see right now it's private. I'm the only one who can see this. I'm going to click on that. And basically, uh, this is where you have to pay. Or I, they have a free trial, but like uh, the $12, $18 plan, whatever you pick, you're just going to click Upgrade to Publish. They're going to let you uh, pick, uh, select that. And that's when you can actually launch your website. So I'm not going to do this because uh, I don't actually use Squarespace myself. I use a more complicated tool. But that's basically all there is to it. And then they're going to walk you through getting it live. One final tip here for you. Um, they offer a free domain name. So the domain name meaning like www.yourbusiness.com, that's a domain name. You need a domain name in order to host your website. They will give you one. I personally would not recommend doing it through them. I like to keep my domain name separate from my hosting company. That way, if I ever want to change where my website's hosted, I'm not locked in to continuing to have a relationship with that same hosting company. So I have a different video in this course where we're going to talk about how to buy a domain name and link it to a site. Uh, so I'll walk you through that later. But that's just a heads up that if you get your domain name through Squarespace, that's one of the, the, the reason they're giving it to you for free is so that they can kind of like lock you in and keep you as a customer. So, uh, all right, we are at 15 minutes here. That's how long it takes to make a website, 15 minutes. Obviously, there's a lot more you can do. 
but you know, we've got a basic small business website here. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to let me know. And again, I'm going to post a link to the course in the description uh, so that if you aren't already on it, you can join it if you'd like. All right. See ya.